needs to be as far as maybe you need to contact outside help in order to help manage the money flow. Think about that. Think about also making use of affiliates, influencers. Let's say you have the opportunity of being interviewed on your podcast. Hey, how is that being marketed? How is that being promoted? In case there are those who aren't able to tune into your interview live or if the interview is being pre-recorded in that sense, can you make sure it's made available? How can that be done? Are there other opportunities in which you are involved that you can market and promote to let people know about? Are there, let's say, influencers, those that have blogs or vlogs, uh, V-L-O-G-S, Visa Victor, so video blog, so to say, and they have a large audience, they have a large following. Is there a possibility to be a part of that one way or another? So you have to think about that and have it to the point where if that's not being done, how can that be done? I mentioned online presence before, but your online presence I'm going to take it to another level. Your online presence as far as do you present your online presence the same way offline? Let me say that again. Do you present your online presence the same way offline? Is the online presence better than your offline? If it is, that's a problem. Is your offline better than your online. That's a problem too because there's not a match. There needs to be a match with however you're presenting yourself online to match with when you meet people safely, of course, in person or virtually. Is there equality as far as positivity online, positivity offline? You mentioned something online. You also mentioned itself, you know, whatever you put online, offline to someone and add a little bit more here and there to capture their interest. You're trying to have word get out about your business positively, positively talked about. Someone saying, oh, I met her. Yeah, I checked her website. I got to meet her in person at this place or at this event or at this function. Very nice person, very cordial, all of that. Next scenario, met this person offline when the person saw their online presence. I was so excited, man, and I love the online presence. I love the website. I love their Facebook page and everything. I was so excited. I got the chance to meet this person. I'm going to meet this person. I met this person. I said, hi, how are you? I was glad to see her. I told them about, you know, how much I like the website and the social media and all that. The person responded, oh, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, hi, how are you, whatever. And, you know, they just kind of ignored me. It's like, wait a minute. It's like, okay, wait a minute. Who I got excited about online, when I saw the online, I'm trying to see if they're the same offline, and I find out they're not. They're kind of, oh, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. And times of the essence, let me finish up. Finally, the behind the scenes. This is really where computers and technology, uh, not that it doesn't come to play any other place, but it really comes to play here. I'm going to tell you why. Do you keep your devices maintained? Do you keep your equipment in shape? Is it updated? What software are you using for if you have to deal with doing the back end or someone else is doing with, dealing with the back end or whatever? It could be something as simple as maybe you're doing a Zoom from your smartphone, for instance. You're the one presenting, but you, without warning, go offline because guess what you forgot to do? You forgot to make sure that either one, your smartphone was fully charged, or two, 
there was a warning coming up saying, hey, the battery level is low, but it was on 15 set, you know, 15%. You press the, you know, power, you know, the power saving button or function or whatever on your phone, and you think, okay, I have been in this situation before. I got about another two to three minutes, so I'm about to wrap up real quick anyway. So you go by that assumption that that's going to happen, but guess what? As soon as you switch back to your Zoom meeting, about 45 seconds right when you switch back to the Zoom meeting, your phone went dead. You were the one who facilitated the meeting. You were the one who set it up. You were the one who, or one of the ones who probably was a guest, and all of a sudden, you disappeared without warning. And everybody's wondering about you. You're hoping that you're okay and everything. But that says something. Hey, it's, ha it's happened to the best of us. So that's something to keep in mind. So as far as maintaining and all of that, it could be that simple to something more complex as far as the behind the scenes. Because you want to have the behind the scenes intact so that your online as well as your offline presence be intact. Any questions, comments, make sure to reach out to me. You can call or text to 419-304-4564. Again, 419-304-4564. You can reach me via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and also YouTube. The handle is YCN as a Nancy O T L L C 05. Again, YCN as a Nancy O T as in Tom L L C 05. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs a Toledo LLC. Celebrating year number 16 of computer training. The more that comes to you. Take care, everybody. Be well and whatever you do, be safe. Bye bye.